same thing, let's talk about having inverted front end. Number two, the next thing should be, I think it should be front and rear suspension. Rings, so I do rock a lot of rings. Number three, bigger engine. You're talking about performance, I think the performance baggers should have a bigger engine. The levels was good, the levels was good. Who knows, if Harley sees this or something, they might be like, hey, that might be a good idea. Maybe we should be doing this, or, yeah. I could use a street light in the garage. to the video guys today we're gonna to be having a little discussion talking about the ST models the Street Glide ST and the Road Glide ST now in addition to that there is the Lowrider ST which we're not gonna kind of talk about today uh, we're gonna be focusing mainly on the Street Glide ST and the Road Glide ST these models have been out for the past two years already so they launched in 2022 it is now 2023 and they become very very popular I might say since the beginning, since the launch, people went crazy over them. They're absolutely beautiful. I love the direction that Harley took last year with that. Now, with all the excitement and popularity behind the King of the Bagger segment, um, the Performance Bagger segment, which is huge, is growing at such a such an alarming fast pace, man. If you were to rewind the clock and go back five or eight years from now and tell people that Performance Baggers were gonna be a thing, People would have probably laughed in your face. A chuckle here or there. But obviously the king of the baggers race has a lot to do with that. The public, the consumers wanted to make their bikes look just like these bikes on the track. Now before we get into that, I kind of want to show you guys my new little rings. So I do rock a lot of rings out when I'm out riding and just like rocking rings like this and i also got this cool little thor hammer chain right here these are from gothic pretty cool stuff this one right here has a nice little lightning bulb in it this one right here is the hand of a dragon holding a blue stone that one's pretty cool and then this one is like the hand of a skeleton so you can kind of see like the skeleton fingers pretty cool and yeah, and this right here is the Thor hammer. So pretty cool stuff. These are all from Gothic. So if you are interested in getting some of this cool stuff, I am going to be saving some of your hard-earned cash. Got your little promo code, Marvel20 is going to save you 20% on your purchase. Now, everything that I got came in this cool little box right here. It came nice and packaged all in this one little box. And for those of you guys who are into the whole environment stuff, um, they do do a lot of environmental stuff. So they do plant a tree with every order that they sell. And it's just their way of giving back to nature. And they have already planted 4,000 trees and counting. So environmental stuff is cool. If you guys are interested in getting some of this stuff, I'm going to be linking down the link down below. Now, me, I'm a huge advocate of change. Um, and I love the direction that the company has taken in the last few years, especially with the baggers. Um, with that being said, I've been doing a lot of thinking for the past few weeks. I've been doing a lot of digging and thinking. And I'm looking at... Uh, what Harley Davidson has to offer on the platform right now and we have obviously for both Road Glide and Street Glide we have the standard models we have the special models we have the ST models and then we have the CVO model so four to choose from which is a lot and then within those four you also have for the special you have two options to go with the chrome or black so a lot of options now these bikes are obviously all different in their own special way um which i'm gonna be doing a follow-up video that should be up next week or so but anyways uh, i was here thinking i'm like okay well i have the st model here which is basically priced at around thirty thousand dollars right now 29.999 and after fees and taxes and this and that and that you're probably looking around 34 ish around there, that ballpark. Now, with that being said, I want to highlight everything that makes the st models different and then what i really want to talk about is how the ST models should not be what they are right now, and they should be more of what the people want and see from the track bikes. Now, as a consumer, you must be going crazy because he's like, yeah, I have so many different options. What makes the ST models so different from the others? Now, for starters, you're gonna have two color paint options. This year in particular for 2023, we got the Vivid Black, which is always around. And then you're gonna have that white Sam Pearl, which is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. I absolutely love that color. Now on the tank, you're gonna have that cool retro 
decal that you're also going to find and see on the low rider s for the past few years now being an st model so you're going to have those bronze goldish colored wheels which looks really really nice and then in the front you're going to have that short chopped front fender which looks absolutely beautiful i actually went ahead and i changed my front fender my rogue glide special right here the st front fender just exposes the front wheel a lot more you're able to see more of that wheel it looks cooler and it's just it looks it looks really badass now you are going to have that turn out heavy breather air cleaner on there as well you're going to have the short bags which you're going to see on the standard bagger models the bike is also going to come with a solo seat that rear clear light that also comes on the low rider s um, and then the reflectors on the rear short bag and then to top it off the suspension in the rear is different um it is the same suspension you're gonna find on a road king so it's not really like a huge upgraded suspension but a more comfortable suspension at that now that rear suspension is gonna make the bike a bit taller as well give you more ground clearance um for especially those of you guys who like to get in those twisties you're able to kind of throw the bike over a bit more and not scrape so fast and last but not least you're gonna have the milwaukee 8 117 on it that motor is full of pep like i really really like the 117 it just it just has like the perfect feel and rumble to it it feels really really good you get enough throttle and the thing just wants to take off now those are all the things that make the st models different from let's say the specials or standard or the cbo models with that being said this is supposed to be a performance bagger that's that that's what the whole idea behind the st models are the performance baggers of the whole bagger pool so all these small upgrades that harley davidson has done to the bikes are really cool i'm happy to see it i'm happy to see them head in that direction but we're now at a point where if you kind of compare it to the rest of the models this being the performance bagger i think it, it should have more and that's what's going to bring us to our final discussion right now what should a bike have different uh, what more should it have to maybe separate it more from the other bikes because when you kind of look at it is this really a performance bagger when it comes to the other ones i mean not really not really it just it has like a little performance bagger sprinkled on it but i think the direction that they should be taking now is actually making a performance bagger that you can buy from the showroom floor now i was able to come up with six different things that uh harley davidson could change on his bike in order to make it like a real kind of performance bagger from factory um so i would like to hear your top three or top six down below if they are different from mine and if you agree with my ideas then let me know down below mention in the comments right now let, let, let's let's start talking so the changes what should the changes be on the st models let's start with the front um you talking about performance baggers you're talking about performance anything let's talk about having inverted front end so just like the low rider s and low rider sc have an inverted front end the st street glide and the st road glide can have an inverted front end as well obviously making that bike handle a lot more and be more agile number two the next thing should be i think it should be front and rear suspension now i was out in texas uh, a few weeks back and i was riding the new indian uh sport chief and that bike from factory comes with fox rear and front suspension fox piggybacks in the back so if indian is able to do something like this i think Harley should be able to offer something like this. I mean, they already offer the Screaming Eagle and Olin suspension for you to buy. Um, so why not kind of add that suspension into the ST models? You already have it, just add it onto the models. Number three, bigger engine. You're talking about performance. I think the performance baggers should have a bigger engine. Um, I kind of had the discussion before of how the CVOs should have the bigger engines, but I kind of want to retract that statement. Um, I don't think that the the regular CVO rider wants to go fast. Um, the regular CVO rider kind of just wants top of the line. Doesn't really care about too much about going fast. He just wants to show that bike off, right? Uh, but the ST models, being a performance bagger, should have the bigger engine. So maybe giving that bike a 121 or a 122 on it that should be like that 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 should be its its core or even something bigger maybe a 128 i mean I, you know that maybe that's a little far-fetched but you know 
think at 128 would have would have been awesome. Number four, uh, you guys already have the short bags on it, which I'm a huge fan. I actually prefer the short bags over the extended bags that I have on my special. Um, I wish I had short bags on my bike, um, but short bags, performance bag. Are you thinking two and a one? No one really does two and a twos when it comes to that. I got a two and a two setup because I have the stretch bags and it just. I, it, it just to fill fill the back up right but designing a, a nice pipe from factory a nice two in one pipe that would also be great number five mid controls i think this bike should come with mid controls from factory some harley davidson mx pegs i mean you, you guys already have some mx style pegs um that you make from factory as well. So why not incorporate that with this as well? Um, it is a performance bagger. That's a, the way that you kind of want to ride a performance bike is with mids. You don't want to be kind of be stretched out. Um, it's just, yeah, mid controls. Or even at that, some mini floorboards would it as mids would be cool as well. And last but not least, a bar and riser setup. So going back to the whole Indian thing, Indian's able to do four inch or six inch risers on the Sport Chief. Um, I know these are baggers, but I mean, it, it could be done. So giving that bike a different bar setup from factory, a T-bar setup, that would be great. And I, you know, we're not asking for a 10 inch or 12 inch. It could be as simple as a six to eight inch riser setup. Um, and it, it, it would, yeah. So kind of that same setup you have on the Lowrider S, Put that on a street glide or a roll glide. Um, I, I've seen it done, so that that would be awesome. And we are also, like always, gonna have an honorable mention. So I think brakes, uh, brake system should be a bit different as well. Um, but yeah, th those are my top six. If you guys have any other different ones, anything different that you would add to this, drop your thoughts and comments down below. It's a very interesting conversation that I want to get going. Who knows if Harley sees this or something, they might be like, hey, that might be a good idea. Maybe we should be doing this or yeah. Or maybe I could get a Street Glide ST and kind of have this all done to it. Harley, if you're listening. I I could use a street glide in the garage. Now, everything that we just mentioned is what I think would make the Harley Davidson street glide, road glide, ST models, the performance bagger. Now, yes, I, I did mention a lot of upgrades here and I know you are wondering, well, if they do all that, the price is gonna go up and obviously yes, but you are talking about a performance bagger. So the person who this bike will be targeted to, it, it's I don't think it, it would be your, your regular bagger rider who just wants to just get on the bike and go cross country with this type of person who just wants to rip around um have fun on this bike treat it like a soft tail but it's a bagger but it's a performance bagger that's that's the whole idea behind the people with performance bagger ish bikes just treat them and ride them like if they were smaller bikes so um price point what should it be at i don't know it's obviously going to be a lot more than 30. you guys do you guys do the math and what do, you, what do you guys think should be fair with a price with building a bike like this and buying a bike like this from factory? Anyways, I hope you guys liked today's discussion. If you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, um, share it, comment, and all that fun stuff down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, there's a lot of you guys out there who are not subscribed yet. Go ahead and subscribe. You know, you're helping the channel out and growing here. We got some other cool stuff coming out at the end of the week. Uh, got some content coming on the Roll Glide with the 465 fueling cam that we installed a little while ago. I'm doing a video on that. I'm gonna be doing a review video on my brand new, which is brand new to be, Motovlog helmet. I got the Bell Modular SRT, SR7 helmet, whatever it's called. Um, so I'm going to be receiving that today, doing an unboxing video with that. Um, got another video coming out with the low rider, and then we're going to be doing some content on the FXR right here on the side, which you guys only see the corner of it. Um, but a lot of more cool stuff. And then on top of that, we also got Spanish Saturdays. So Spanish Saturdays for all my speaking Spanish speaking viewers. Every Saturday we do a Spanish speaking video on the channel. So tune in for that. Anyways, like always, let the horse be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Thank you.